Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we will be studying about intermuscular spaces of the scapular region. So as you can see that this is a very important diagram and you should have it in your mind when you are about to solve the paper in your exam. It is a very important image as it makes constitutes about three spaces that are formed around the scapular region. These three spaces are number one, the quadrangular space, number two, the upper triangular space, and number three, the lower triangular space. Let's talk about each of these spaces, their boundaries and their contents. So firstly, we need to remember that anterior to the shoulder joint is the subscapularis muscle, while posterior to the shoulder joint is the teres minor muscle, and medial to the entire humerus is the triceps brachii muscle. If you have this image in your mind, then you'll, it'll be very easy for you to remember the boundaries of each of these spaces. One thing to keep in mind are these three T muscles that form the boundaries of the spaces. Now let's talk about the first space called the quadrangular space. The name says it, it is supposed to have how many? Four sides. So first space quadrangular space supposed to have four sides is right here. Uh, this is the surgical neck of the humerus. So what are its boundaries? So the superior boundary of the quadrangular space, name quadrangular space, hence four sides, four boundaries. So superiorly is the lower border of teres minor. Medially is the lateral border of the long head of triceps. Inferiorly is the what? The teres major upper border. And finally, laterally is the surgical neck of the humerus. Moving on to the upper triangular space, if you have these three T muscles in your mind will be very easy. Since it's triangular and it's upper triangular, it is supposed to have three sides. So three boundaries. What are the three boundaries? Upper boundary or superiorly is the lower border of teres minor. Lower boundary or inferiorly is the teres major upper border and laterally is the medial head of the triceps. And finally, the lower triangular space, which is the smallest space and it's quite um, it is like an inverted triangle and it can also be known as the triangular interval. So the lower triangular space is bounded by the following. Superiorly by the lower border of teres major, medially by the triceps lateral border and finally the shaft of the humerus is making its third boundary and final boundary known as the lateral boundary. So these were all about the boundaries of the spaces. What about the contents? Let's talk about the quadrangular space contents. We all know that the area where there is a surgical neck of the humerus, there are two very important structures. First, the axillary nerve. And there was something that accompanied the axillary nerve. It is known as the posterior circumflex humeral artery, which we studied in the third part of the axillary artery. So these are the two contents of the quadrangular space as they pass posterior to the surgical neck of the humerus to take part in the anastomosis around neck of humerus. Moving on, the second part or the second space is the upper triangular space consists of an artery that was taking part in the anastomosis of the scapula. Yes, again, we studied this in the third part of the axillary artery, the circumflex scapular artery, which was a branch of the subscapular artery of the third part of the axillary artery. And finally, we have the contents of this area, which are the contents that will go around the spiral groove or the radial groove of the humerus shaft. This is obviously the radial nerve, the lower triangular, we're talking about the lower triangular space. So its contents are the radial nerve and accompanying the radial nerve is the profunda brachii artery that you should remember. These are the contents of the lower triangular. So that's all about the spaces. Thank you so much for watching.